All righty, back at it. Hank Miller with the Hank Miller team. New construction. Now is the perfect time as we start into the spring of 2022. And it could be any time. It doesn't matter. It just happens to be when I'm shooting this vid. I know buyers are going to walk into a new home community, get in the model home, walk around, be knocked out, have a Diet Coke, get all sugared up with the candy and the soda, and sign a contract and not be represented. Some are going to walk in not knowing they need to be represented or should be represented. Others are going to walk in saying, oh, yeah, well, I got a, a, the rebate uh, was given to me from the, uh, from the listing agent. Uh, incorrect in every way, shape, and form. When you walk in as a buyer to a new home, model home, whatever the case may be, the agent on site that is working at that, at that uh, community represents the builder only. They are legally bound to represent the builder's best interests in all phases of the contract negotiation, contract writing, working through the, the build, which could take months. Their client is the builder. They don't represent you as a home buyer. So understand that because, you know, Google is, it says great and wonderful things about how both parties are represented. That's not the case. They have a client relationship and they work specifically and only for the builder. Now, that agent out there is not going to put a gun in your mouth and force you to do something you don't want to do. They're not going to play, you know, three card money and, and, and jerk around with a contract. They're responsible to be ethical, and, and they will be. I, I've met an agent that's going to do anything like that. But anytime it comes to anything to do with you as a buyer, they're just going to kind of, you know, tread water. And yeah, well, I, I'll ask the buyer, I'll do this, I'll do that, and which is all nonsense because the builder, I, I should have said the builder, the builder's going to come back and say, oh, we're not doing that, we're not doing that. And, and they're just going to say, oh, yeah, unfortunately, you know, the, this time the builder can't do it. That includes when problems come up. And when you're building a house, I guarantee you problems will come up. Changes will happen. That contract, if you don't understand and read it fully and, and grasp exactly what you're signing, you have no idea what you're getting into because those contracts and new construction are 100% tilted in favor of the builder. You go in, you're, you're essentially saying you can build the house you want. Here's the price and you know, I surrender on everything else. Again, nothing illegal, anything like that. But anytime there's any kind of conflict or pushback, it's going the builder's way. You have to understand this and working with an agent to represent your interests, an agent skilled in understanding new construction, you can maybe slide in a stipulation or two to kind of move the, the tables a little bit. At the end of the day, you're gonna play by their, their, their rules, but there's ways to uh, show a little strength if you get into trouble. All right, so when you talk to people, why don't you use an agent? You know, they get into problems. I get phone calls all the time. I get emails all the time. I'm building a house and blah, blah, blah. What was your agent say? Well, I didn't use an agent. Why didn't you use an agent? Well, you know, the builder said I would get a rebate. I got a credit back. No, you didn't. The agents on site have a contract with the builder. They're, good, they, they're getting the commission, whatever the commission is, five, six, seven percent. If you don't bring another agent, there's no co-op, that agency is keeping the whole thing. You're not getting anything. And if you doubt that, when you sit down with the agent and you think you're getting a credit back, ask them to show you in the contract where it says Joe Blow is going to get 3% or whatever, a credit toward the purchase price. It doesn't happen. Now, when they're talking to you, oh, yes, use our preferred lender and you'll get a $5,000 credit allowance, $10,000 credit allowance. Now, at this time, we can offer you uh, $15,000 in the design center. Yeah, no kidding. Those are incentives that are always out there. If you have any question as to whether or not you are going to get a rebate for not using an agent, ask the agent to specifically show you in the contract where it is that you get it and you're getting a reduction or you're getting a credit or you're getting somehow uh, credited for not using an agent. It doesn't exist because it doesn't happen. Think this through. So why do you need a buyer's agent? You need a buyer's agent because this is what we do on a regular basis, deal with, uh, deal with construction. Me, uh, wearing two hats as an appraiser and, a, a, and a, uh, an associate broker, I'm, I'm in new construction probably five, six times a month between my deals and, and appraisals that I do. We go out and we make sure that what you're signing for actually happens. And the work that's done 
is of decent standard. If you talk to a builder and you say, well, you know, tell me about your, your uh, uh, guidelines for putting in brick. Yeah, as long as it looks like that, it's fine. No, no, no. We want straight brick. We want, we want moldings that meet together. We want, we want uh, siding that's put on properly without uh, two inch gaps around the trim corners and whatnot. That's the thing that we're out there once a week or so. That's the thing that we drive home as agents. We know what to look for. We know where they're going to cut corners. We know what inspectors to bring in that look and know what to look for when, when the house is going up before drywall. Get that inspection done before they hang the drywall and you can't see these, these disasters. The things that a good quality agent brings, the buyers, because you don't do it every day, the buyers can't even think about. There's a reason to use an agent. And especially when you're not paying for it, the cost of the of, of representing of representation is borne by the seller. And they're gonna pay it either way. Remember what I told you, ask them to show you the contract where it says you're gonna get money back, because you're not. So when things go wrong, and they will, what do we do that you as a buyer, unrepresented buyer can't do? Uh, make a lot of noise, bring a lot of things to the table. If you're watching this, look us up on, on, on Google and whatnot. I'm out there in, in, in the industry. I got a big mouth. I got a big hand that writes a lot. I do videos like this. You can get on my website right now, hankmillerteam.com, and go look at some of, the, some of the photos that we've taken about poor quality. We had one build uh, a while back where it got elevated. I went on LinkedIn and pulled the, the, the heads of all the, uh, the emails of all the heads of the construction company, shot a broadcast email, said, we're either meeting on site and you're gonna walk me through how you accept this quality on, on this price house, or we're gonna get it fixed. And if it doesn't get fixed, I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put plenty of videos out, plenty of pictures, because I've been talking about this now for the entire build and you guys have been ignoring me. You don't think that brought some, some, some relief to my buyer who ultimately we got out of that whole contract. The guy said, you're done, goodbye, thank you. It was nice knowing you. He has every penny you put back into it. We were delighted because the house was built like crap. We don't want it. That's what we bring. Every week we're out there and we're, we're, we're fastidious at looking to make sure that the right things are done, that the same materials are in and, and that things are done in a way that represents the effort that you're putting in to buy this house. These are not cheap houses anymore. Everything is expensive. Everybody's up against the wall. You need to make sure that what you get is, is what you're supposed to get and what you're paying for. Most of you guys know my wife Mary is an agent as well. It, it's a nice little tag team because the other thing you don't think about as a, as a buyer when you're going through this, a lot of times now these, these builders want you to pick everything from soup to nuts while you're sitting in the, in, in the design center. We can walk you, Mary specifically, can walk our buyers through the process. Think about doing this as an upgrade right now. Do that later. After the fact, save yourself, you know, more than half of the price. What should you do? What kind of updates and upgrades should you do when you're building the house as opposed to after the fact when you can just hire somebody else or even bring in one of the subs to do it on a weekend for cash? We walk you through that process. We help you understand all of the pitfalls that you could get into. You're not gonna get any of that if you're not represented. And again, you're not paying for any of this. So we are essentially the German shepherds to keep things at bay, make sure that your job goes smoothly, to walk you through what you know now could be nine months to a year build uh, process. All right, so I beat it to death. I think you got the point. Be represented, get a buyer's agent, an experienced buyer's agent in new construction. Don't just go and say, oh, this, uh, I know, uh, you know, uh, Timmy from my book club and, and he's been laying on the couch for two months. Let's throw him a bone. No, Timmy doesn't need the bone because Timmy's not going to do anything for you. You need somebody who, who's, who's skilled in it, understands the, uh, understands the process, understands where to look for problems and how to stay ahead of problems and take care of things before they hit your radar. That's what a good agent does. Makes it boring so that you look at this and say, I should go get my license because these guys are making all kinds of money to do nothing. So if we make it boring, that's a good thing for you. Get an experienced buyer's agent when you're doing new construction. You're looking at one. Let me know uh, if you have any questions. Hank Miller, Hank Miller team, 678-428-8276. Uh, you call, you email, you text, I answer. I'm always working. If I'm breathing, I'm working. So you know where to find me.